think that the most exciting part about new genomic techniques is their speed and precision because now in a very timely manner we can perform uh, very targeted changes and that are also relatively budget friendly. The science behind precision breeding is that it allows us to precisely edit the genetic sequence of a plant to introduce desired traits. This way we're able to introduce traits into the plants in about five to seven years where through conventional breeding, uh, trying to introduce new traits into vegetatively propagated crops has taken up to 40 years. We are mainly applying the latest uh, cloud data and the machine learning technologies uh, to first explore the genome of the plant and uh, try to uh, identify the most um, uh, relevant targets um, that we can act on for a specific trait. And from there, we apply the latest genome editing technologies to create a new trait. Um, so with this method, the final product, the new plant, uh, does not contain any foreign genetic material, uh, which means we can reach the same result with conventional breeding uh, or a mutation in the nature. Um, the real difference is that uh, we can do it much faster. Many crops, because of the diseases and pests, uh, they can like wiped off, you know, but then if you develop the disease pest resistance uh, varieties, then they can survive. These are the technologies which are now added in our toolbox um, for uh, achieving food security, uh, making the crops climate resilient. We don't have the same pesticides as we had, and uh, we need to uh, look at climate change uh, and that's why most of the farmers know that this technology in the new varieties is needed uh, for the farmers. Extreme drought is a reality for us. It happened in the past, it's happening right now, it's going to happen in the future. So we need to adapt to the situation. We need the new technologies that can adapt faster to the reality of the changing climate. We cannot wait 10 years to adapt to drought, new pests or new policies.